Greetings and salutations! Indeed, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3 with Realism Mods. Hi guys, hi. Okay, um... Things might look a bit different from last time, and if they do, I'm sorry. Well, I'm kind of. Actually, I think it looks better this way. Well, let me explain, uh, because, um... I mean, I was started the recorder today. This is actually my third attempt uh, because I've have been, been having technical issues with a couple of things, amongst others. I can go through the fact that we had frame rate drops. This bad as down to 15 FPS, which I should never ever get. I don't know why that is. I think that is because of another change I did. Because now I'm recording my audio in Sony Vegas instead of using Fraps, which is probably a great idea. Because that means that, uh, yeah, you see my medtech quest starting. This is basically just like a DLC. I haven't got any DLCs, like, this is basically like a DLC quest. I haven't got any DLCs enabled though, which if you've pl ever played a Fallout game, and I probably think Oblivion and uh, Skyrim as well, is like straight after you go out of the starting zone, it's like, hi, there's like 50 quests, have fun. Um, so I haven't got none of those. Uh, Medtech basically uh, kind of treats itself the same way. Now, where was I? I was on to the point of uh, this game and its gloriousness. Yes. So I was having pretty bad frame rates and uh, I was like, why is this? This shouldn't be happening. I have a better computer than this. Um, so I turned down the graphics settings a bit. Basically, and that I did, and we have now something that shouldn't lag at all. It should be pretty stable. It actually, gives me without traps or anything in recording. Well, actually, yes, my voice uh, being recorded. It gives me about 80 FPS, which is 20 better than I already had on my uh, GTX 560 Ti, which I need to get upgraded so badly. And yeah. Here we have the uh, medtech things enabled. Yep, that's that's them enabling. They give you a couple of things in the beginning, such so as fire starters and likes of that. And also, I changed the design volume a bit. But the thing I did to uh, right control. There's right control. Okay. Here we have medtech. This is medtech. Apparently, we already have issues because uh, when we were fighting in the vault, we actually got damaged, which carried over over here. So I have a wound level of 2.8. That's not that bad. We have a blood. Uh, we have a blood loss of 4.5. Trauma level of zero. Burn, uh, burn level of zero. Infection level of zero. Radiation level of zero. And water need, food need, and sleep need. Okay, I'm gonna go through this because I think that's something that I probably should now that I can. The wound level is 3.8. I think the wound level will make blood loss accumulate. If you have a wound level worse than 5, blood loss will start piling up. Blood loss is bad above a certain point because I think uh, there are some visual effects actually uh, that affect you when that is the case. Uh, and also, generally, I think you actually can faint and the, the likes of that, or you just die. Uh, when it gets over 10 or something around that area. So having a high wound level that you don't treat with bandages will make blood loss pile up and make you die after a while. But not quite uh, instantly. Trauma level, I don't quite know what that does, but I know you get it from melee attacks from beetles and the likes. Uh, burn level, I suppose that's if you get burned by things and you have burns. Infection level, this is an interesting one. Wow. If I remember correctly, this is if you eat food, and that food is uh, raw, it might be cooked, but not, like, it, it, it will, you will always get some level of infection, or I think it might have been in uh, bacteria, actually. No, that's bacteria, never mind. Uh, then I don't really know what infection is, because I haven't had it before, I think. Now, the radiation level is the level of uh, radiation disease you have. Once you get over 100, you get radiation sickness. That is uh, 
a hundred rads in just like your normal inventory thing. Now, I'm not saying this is how it works because I'm realizing how actually in uh, insecure am I about these things. Uh, so I might as well just stop explaining. But the radiation sickness l l actually increases over time. Uh, rads, of course, decrease. But if you've got like 200 rads, then you'll have 200 rads. And the longer time you spend with above 100 rads, I think will cumulatively, depending on that rad, your rad count, increase your radiation level. And some fancy formulas like that. Okay. Uh, now the water need we have is 10.1 uh, ounces. This increases depending on where you are and what you're doing. Food need, not sure if it's the same. Might be. Uh, and the, finally the sleep need. This does not be affected by anything, but basically a third of the time you do anything you need to spend sleeping so uh, we can probably treat our moderate also wear wounds this is wound treatments uh, our wound uh, level is 2.75 infection level is 0, clotting level is 0 and we can inject stim pack. moderate health uh, wounds level 2 to 5 do not increase blood loss but any wound above level 3 will become infected okay so that's what that is health regeneration stopped at level 2 Okay, so if you have high woods, you want regen health, which is very bad. A simpack in in injection speeds up healing by increasing clotting. Severe wounds, level 5 plus of wheeling wounds. Bandages are effective in reducing blood loss. But some wounds might require two or more. A leather belt can be temporarily reduced blood flow for one game hour. A uh, blood flow will stop soon after your wound level drops below 5. Wounds below level 7. Uh, below level 7 heal about... Minus one level per hour based on endurance. That means if you don't have a wound greater than level zero, it will heal itself based on your endurance. I don't know if that's the base stat uh, or if that means multiplied by based on your endurance. Say 0 0.1 multiplied. Might actually might be 0 0.1 or something like that. I don't know. So. We might do that, but I don't think we should, actually. I think uh, our med pack is probably needed elsewhere. Now, just because so we've gotten through it, uh, we can go into this place. This is the armor level. Yeah. This is the ingestion level. If you eat food, this will get worse. And if it gets above 5, you'll get bacteria, and that means you're getting ill. And also, there's some further problems with radiation disease and such. And it's actually that uh, if you get radiation disease, you're going to have some issues with, amongst others, not being able to eat or drink anything, so say uh, if you get radiation sickness and you're starving, then you're kind of fucked. That happened to me once, that was not fun at all. I was like dying from hunger and it was like, no, no, no you have like 5.5 when 5 is the max. No, we have 5.5 when 5 is the min to have radiation disease and you can't do anything because uh, get radiation disease. Sorry, that's the game, so... Yep. Antibiotic healing. I have no clue. Wound bandage time. I think these are the things uh, depending on different things. And finally, it's crash time. I don't actually know what it is. Uh, that is how long you've been crashed from some sort of uh, drug that I most probably will be using. Yay. It's now operational. Meta scanner was secu uh, secretly integrated into one and one pip points. Your scanner was activated by the external vault, but this advanced version may have been delayed if the need unit needed time to recharge. This specialized device was designed to provide personal medical aid to post nuclear survivors like yourself, who went you out into what will likely be a very harsh environment. To fully enjoy all the benefits of your Voltec MedTech scanner, please read the documentation note that was uploaded to your BitBoy. Voltec serial number 01001 CD, expected by Arvind on 21st of August 2067. No, 76. I should stop reading dates in. German mode. Ah, uh, note, press quick scan to uh, hotkey to which is default M to check your vitals. Press uh, medtech scanner hotkey, which is a right control scan for full scan to treat serious injuries. Now, I'm gonna save us. Uh, I've been having issues with this mod a couple of times, and the issues have been uh, me pressing the button and nothing bloody goddamn happening. So I was just like, ah. I'm not going to restart the quest if that happens, okay? I'm not going to. And also, I was explaining about what graphics things I was changing on. I've been talking for like 10 minutes now. 
so I'm sorry about that, uh, but I kind of had a lot of things to talk about. We could probably done over walking, but screw the system. Um, now, I turned down from HDR to Bloom. Now, I did this actually like on my normal save that I wasn't recording on in Oblivion as well. If any of you guys ever played this, because this game was built on the Oblivion engine. And I think it's actually slightly larger than Oblivion, but not by a lot. The game, I mean. So, uh, yeah, this is basically... It makes it uh, the shine from things go away, and the rather getting brighter when you step close to them. This is a smart thing to do. Go loot people's mailboxes because they all have flyers and instructional things in them. It's a letter from Voltec. If you read that, you'll find it being like, hey guys, it will be a good idea to you on this lead armor. Okay. Wait, I've never. Is this place like a. Hello, starters. This gonna be good. What? Oh my god, there's tons of street hair. What the hell? What? I've never... Oh my god, I never looked through the city when I first started on my previous save. Never did. I remember looking into a couple of mailboxes, trying to be smart. But apparently they have shit done stuff here. Okay, that's nice. Holy shit, there's, there's stuff everywhere here. Yeah, loot fest. I might have been starting to think about maybe... We just might sell that, actually. Um, but it may be being a good idea for us to enable the last hardcore mod, which will reduce the amount of spawn by a lot. And by a lot, I mean like by 85%. But I don't know, maybe that's a bit too much. That's like the thing I was debating with myself, because we should have reduced loot spawns, but not by that necessarily that much. There's a Nuka Cola. Always check these machines, it's always a good idea, because there's Nuka Cola in them, and Nuka Cola is delicious. Now, we're heading towards, as our quest tracker says to we should, following in Dad's footsteps. Investigate the nearby town for Meg of Megaton for information about Dad. Yes, they say we should. Now, that is on the world map, as we can see right here. And, therefore, we should travel to the place. This is RPB25. That's a nice telephone beam. Okay then, um... Yep, on the way to Megaton. Kids, that over there is Megaton. You know why it's named like that? Megaton? Well, I don't know if you do, and that's a jet engine, by the way. This is a wonderful little puddle of slightly reduced graphics water. I'm sorry, I had to do that as well. I have the max render distances, though. And they're giant aunt, so that's lovely. I remember these attacking new ones when I came out of the vault. Wait, what bomb? Is there a bomb here? Yeah, sure, I'll be careful with my gun. Yeah, yeah. Bastards will never know what hit him. Another newcomer. Hello there, mate. The hell you been doing? Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Well, that's nasty, you sheriff. No, I might, I might be caught, Kevin, but like I... I'm gonna say nothing, because I'm just gonna be my awesome quiet stare. type, huh? Fine. Might help keep you out of trouble. I hope you're not a weirdo. Got enough of those already. We do have a lot of those, yes. Right, message received. You don't scare me. You got something you want to prove, boy? I am a faggot. 
There's a new sheriff in this town. It's time to die, asshole. Uh, I'm gonna do that later. I promise I will do that. I'm just messing with you. Fucking psycho wastelanders. Look for my dad. Nope. Sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Hmm. I could use some directions around this place you call town. Sure thing, partner. What do you need to find? A gun. Where the hell's the weapons dealer around here? You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Makes some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. Sure is. Moriorities. The entrance is on the top level, opposite the main gate. Just be careful. Moriarty is not your friend, no matter what he may say. So don't fall for his lies. And for God's sake, don't trust the man. Wait. So let me get that clear. Did you, you said Moriarty? It's Moriarty. Have you never watched... Just, the hell, Lucas? You've never watched... Sherlock Holmes. What the hell is wrong with you? Um, where can I rent a bed? Up at Moriarty's at Moriarty's, the south end of town. Okay. Talk to Nova. She'll help you out. It's Moriarty's. Hmm. I have to go now. Carry on. You seem like a dapper fellow. Now we have, uh... Things and places to be places. Uh, I forgot ex completely what the hell he said. The thing was the uh, the gun, the supplies. Okay, they're up here. That's nice. What's a nice bomb? Yes, that is why it's called megaton. That's one megaton bomb. Women and children of the earth They're praising it. Yep. This place, kids, this is a nut job hole. Ah, uh, yes, nut hole. Okay, well, uh, we probably should first talk about securing ourselves. Oh, hi. I'm gonna make him loud noises inside of the clinic. I think if someone was really far and, like, walked up here and they fell through the roof and, like, onto a patient, that would be hilarious, actually. Um, but that's not relevant at all. Now, here is the crater side supply, which is where they sell guns. And please, for God's sake, say, okay, you're open. I don't really know what the time is. I know the time scale is lower, so things should feel more like they're not, like, rushing through time. And you look kind of strict-faced, Moira. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Well, I like how... Uh, I haven't talked to anybody except... Lucas Sims, the mayor, and that was for like th two, three minutes ago, maybe. I haven't done anything since then. And she already said she'd be hearing things about me. Well, somebody's racking up a reputation. Well, then. Um, it's a nice old. Yeah, where the hell did he? Where did she get that? That must belong to my dad. What? I'm pretty sure I remember a girl coming into town with that about 10, 12 years ago. She didn't know a thing about the wastes, and I knew she'd get herself hurt without some sort of protection. So I offered to armor her vault suit. Some sort Never of saw her protection. again. Mm -hmm. Probably died out there, poor thing. In a way, she gave me the idea to write this book. It's yours, if you help. So, this is the second time you're trying to put the thing about the book on me. Uh, okay, fine. Fine. Fine, okay. Oh. 
great. <gasps> Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. The paradise down there, no fair. This is actually kind of a moral thing. No fair, no worries, no fighting. Until my dad left town, then it was a hell hole. This outside place is amazing. In the main room, I can't even see the ceiling. That is hilarious. <laughs> I was sent as an ambassador from Detopia Vault 101, back before my glory. How do you people live uh, here? I haven't found a food dispenser anywhere. It was cramped, dark, and the food suck. Good riddance. I have this outside place is amazing, guys. In the main room, I can't even see the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. That's great for a forward. Open with a joke and all that. Here, take the suit. Something tells me you might need it. <laughs> That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. What kind of payment? <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, what what kind of payment? This is speaking monies? Yeah, sure, I'm very interested in money. Pay. What sort of pay? <laughs> Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and... I won't lie, it may include some reading. What the that hell? sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Oh. Sounds good. Tell me more. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. So that's happened a lot, I see. Um. Okay. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, it sounds like... I think actually we might do the radiation one because I have a feeling, an idea about this. And I didn't, I don't remember not thinking about this and feeling stupid about that like a minute ago when I realized I probably could do this uh, in my previous save. And, yeah. Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, <laughs> anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Hmm. Okay, it's fine. I'll get super cancer and you can get it all away. Meh. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hearty fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. <laughs> now, 200 rad should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get sick, just make sure you can get back here. And Okay, um... The Wasteland Survival Guide. Okay, um... Sure thing! I'm actually running out of time. Talking... This, all talk, this talking thing is actually taking quite a while. Um... Let's buy some rounds, actually. That's the most important thing to start doing. Rounds. 5.56 millimeters, I think. That is for a machine gun. And I can't wear that. And we are laser pistols, which are wonderful. But I think lasers, laser things themselves, are kind of expensive. Uh, three hundred eight caliber, uh, three oh eight caliber. Those are kind of good. And uh, yeah, we might as well take those. Rocket launcher, yeah. Shotgun shell. Might as well. Wait, we have one cap. Maybe not. 
Oh, that's right. We actually didn't start any money. Ah, huh. that's interesting. Um, let's sell our good gun for some uh, started money. Uh, are we wearing the leather suit? Leather armor gives the poison resistance and a plus six carrying capacity. Uh, which means that it is definitely better than everything else we have. So I'm going to sell the armored World of One job suit that she just gave us, by the way. Because I'm smart. Um, not going to sell anything that we have right now, because that's probably a bad idea. We're going to sell Janice's glasses. Because we're cool like that. And we're going to sell the whiskey, because vodka is delicious. Uh, and then... Not a baseball bat, because that's actually kind of powerful. And then this pistol... No, we're going to sell BB bullets and a BB gun. Just give us some money. There we go. Uh, this should make it possible for us to buy... Uh... Oh, see these energy cells? Those are kind of expensive. And this is with, like, basic starting... Like, some form of starting bartering, so it would be even worse if we didn't do start with bartering, which would actually be kind of terrible, which is why I decided to restock my things, and so we started with it. Let's just do this and then break it off. Hmm. Could be the guy I saw at Moriarty's saloon not too long ago. I'd ask there. Hmm. Okay. Speak to Col uh, Colin Moriarty about that. And I think you said it correctly, actually, Moriarty. Try not to die. <laughs> well, try not to die while you get irradiated, because I'm too much of a smart person to do so myself. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching, and we'll continue and go and look for Dad in the next chapter after we drink some water. So, bye!